was good Hellraiser, this time with Hellraiser Fitness. So a lot of my friends have been complaining to me about shoulder and elbow pain while performing the conventional style skull crushers. Now for the new lifters out here who don't know what a skull crusher is, I'll be introducing it briefly and also about what muscles it targets. Now what I propose comes in the form of two variations of these skull crushers that not only remove the pain and the pressure from the joints, but also give you a better contraction and therefore better time on attention and better gains. The conventional skull crusher is usually performed on a flat bench using an easy bar or sometimes a straight bar. This exercise targets the long head of the triceps and is a great mass builder. The reason behind the elbow pain is that at the top of the exercise, as can be seen on the left side of the picture, all the weight is shifted from the muscles to the elbow joint. Now in order to avoid that, we switch to a cable skull crusher, which will help keep constant tension on the muscle. As far as the shoulder pain, that is usually caused by the lower portion of the exercise seen in the middle part of the picture. This is due to the fact that at the bottom of the motion, people will tend to try and grab momentum by swinging the bar a little bit behind the head. This places the shoulder at a very risky position. Position the pulley in such a way that at the starting position your shoulders aren't in any vulnerable position. Try to keep your arms as perpendicular to your body as possible when performing this exercise. Explode on the way up and take it slow and control on the way down. This exercise can also be done with a wide T handle. Here you have the option of flaring your elbows or keeping them tucked to your body. The more tucked in, the harder the exercise becomes. When it comes to the sets and reps, I like to do 7 sets of 12, but that's just because I'm a big fan of volume for arms. Now I suggest you guys do 4 sets of 12 reps, 2 sets with each handle. This was my 7th set and as you can see, I was starting to get tired. Now if you look closely at the position of my arm, you can see that it's no longer perpendicular to my body. Usually in the conventional skull crusher, as I mentioned earlier, when you get tired you have a tendency to swing away from your body towards the back and that's what causes shoulder pain. In this version, when you get tired, your body will have a tendency to push your arms towards your body. This will not only avoid shoulder pain, but you will also keep tension on the triceps. <laughs> 